Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and this is my F22 Made in Tinkercad. And today I'm going to show you how to render it using Vectory. So let's get cracking. First, a little disclaimer, I have not mastered Vectory. I'm just going to show you what I know. I'm going to show you that my plane has separate parts. I'm going to show you that it's just one project that I'm now going to grab everything and I'm going to choose export and I'm going to export as an OBJ. When you do this, it saves as a zip file. I'm going to put mine in my downloads so that we can bring it into Vectory. There's my downloads folder. You'll notice it's numbered one. That's because I've already done it once and I'm going to do it again with you. Friends, I did a search for Vectory. It's free. It's online. I signed in with Google. Once you get here, you can start creating for free. Once again, I clicked sign in with Google and after a few moments, you'll be at this screen. You can track down tutorials, but I am just going to play. Once again, I clicked blank, went over to these little bars right here, and I chose import. And let's find that cool project we're playing with. I'm playing with my F22 Raptor. You can play with whatever object you want to bring in. Notice it prepares to load. I have some zero area faces. They will be removed, but I'm going to continue anyway. It also mentions my object's too large, so I'm going to fit my object to their project. Now my jet comes in standing up. We can use these cool handles, notice they're arcs, to easily lower it and set it down. This is negative 49 at the moment, so if I type negative 90, it will be just the way I want. This little widget lets you stretch, grow, whatever. I'm going to do control Z because I want to keep it the size I had it. But you can also use these arrows to drag it all around the workspace as you're building. If you right click drag, it pans. If you left click drag, you can look around, scroll in with your scroll wheel. And if you click on your plane or whatever you're playing with, it'll show you the groups that you can color. So friends, this is the part that I find so cool. I'm gonna click on the different groups and I'm gonna pick one of them. So I'm gonna look at it from this angle right here. I wanna be inside this group and I wanna take this one and instead of a color, or I'll show you this quick, you can pick a color, which is pretty neat. But what I think is more fun is to come over here to the built-in textures. There are lots of things you can pick from. I am just having a blast with the car paint. When you bring out these colored flakes, after a moment, it will be rendered with that cool design. Unbelievably sweet. Now, if we click up here, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna choose a glass. Now, when you click on the glass, there are funny ones. If we went with the uh, frosted one, you'll see when it renders, we can't see in. Now, that may be the look you want. It is kind of cool, but I don't want that. So I'm gonna switch back by clicking on this and I'm gonna go architectural. That way it's clear and we can see and we can see the seats. Now, if you think back to my seats in Tinkercad, there were little headrests back here. Those must have been some of the zero faces that got canceled out. I'm going to click on this part in here. Once again, I'm going to go over to the material selector. This time I'm going to go to metal and let's pick something shiny. I'm going to make those gold and glossy so I can click and drop it in. It also makes the seats gold and glossy, which is pretty darn sweet. And then this last object back here, let's make it a nether gold or something close. I'm gonna click on my brows and let's use copper. I bet you that'll look really sweet. So friends, that's how easy it is. Now the next thing I wanna do is click down here on the bottom and I want to turn on my background and I wanna make my background black so that way it's easy to see as we create the render. And then let's hit preview. And friends, there is your awesome Tinkercad Jet rendered with amazing colors in almost no time. It's that easy. Now there are tons of other things you can do with Vectory. I'm just exploring, but this is how fun and awesome it was to take my Tinkercad F22 and make it into something amazing. All right, friends, let me show you one more piece here. There is a share button and you can share to web and you can copy that link. You could email that link to anybody that you wanted. When they paste the link in, after a few moments, it will load 
and they won't be able to edit, but check it out. They can actually mess around and check out the F22 or whatever it was that you made using Vectory. How sweet is that? Friends, remember this all started with a fun F-22, and I gotta thank Arcade Naval Forces for showing me that Vectory even existed. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.